Valerie, we see at the beginning of your report that people complain about air pollution, but yet most of the people you talk to did not seem concerned about smog. And yet we know it kills 50,000 people a year. We know that several Polish cities are among the most polluted cities in the world alongside Beijing or New Delhi. A Poles climate skeptics? Is it the government? What's going on? Well, there is a certain amount of skepticism, of course. Um, people we've met, like the trade union leader, for instance, you see in the report, uh, told me, well, there's no scientific consensus about uh, climate change. And also the Polish Science Academy disagrees with the International Panel on Climate Change regarding the link between coal and global warming. So, yes, there is skepticism. But also, I would say that more than skepticism, there's a sort of climate fatalism. Mm -hmm. People are used to coal mining. They've been living with it for decades. There is a climate activism movement which is starting to express itself in Poland and the COP24 was an opportunity for them to speak out. But they are faced with a very powerful coal lobby mm -hmm. and ironically um, Poland's major mining companies were also sponsors of the COP24. We've seen that the attachment that Poles or some Poles have to coal is almost romantic. There is this party you attended where you see that people are genuinely moved to be part of this movement, this history, this corporation. People are proud of their mining traditions. Well, miners have been slandered in places like Warsaw, but in regions like Silesia, which completely depend on coal and have so for years, you can't find a family which one way or another doesn't have a connection with coal mining, whether they were coal miners or somebody in the family was a coal miner or still is a coal miner or works for an industrial company which is linked to coal mining. Um, but it's not so much coal mining as, you know, the personal, intimate relationship to, um, to coal mining, which is really part of their identity. Um, on the other hand, there is also this um, belief that coal is a symbol of Poland's independence. Mm -hmm. um, Poland consumes more coal than it produces. It has to import coal from Russia, for instance, and that doesn't do go down well with, with the public opinion. So, uh, in a way, they believe that if they give up on coal completely, they also surrender their identity, their political independence. Mm -hmm. In fact, I just read a survey that says that miners in Poland are respected at levels comparable to university professors and more than medical doctors and teachers. Now, Poland says it wants to diminish the share of coal in its energy production. It is also working on renewable energies. Did you see any evidence of this when you were on the ground? Yes, there are plans, but uh, the conception of renewable energy is more towards nuclear energy mm -hmm. than anything else. And um, there has been a lot of debate recently, as the government has said, that he, it wants to uh, destroy all the windmills that on um, okay. the territory and switch to offshore windmills. Now, that is very controversial mm -hmm. and uh, nobody knows exactly what will happen next. Okay. Poland is part of the EU. Poland is greatly benefiting from being part of the EU, and yet it doesn't play by the rules when it comes to carbon emissions, cutting carbon emissions, to be precise. Is it exposing itself to sanctions, potentially fines, disputes within the EU? Well, Poland has been slammed by the European Court of Justice as regards pollution um, and air quality, for one thing. But uh, when it comes to um, CO2 emissions, Poland will tell you that it is abiding by the rules. Poland is a signatory of the COP21 mm -hmm. Paris Agreement, mm -hmm. and so it says it will follow, it will follow the rules. Um, now, whether it will happen or not, whether the targets will be reached by 2030 is yet uh, to be proven. And uh, when it comes to more ambitious um, targets, it's made very clear that it would not go any further. But on the other hand, the COP24 didn't make mm -hmm. any progress. Mm -hmm. There's an agreement for a status quo on the COP21 Paris Agreement, so it won't go any further. And in that sense, Poland for now is quite safe. Thank you, Valerie, for your insights here in the studio today, and thank you for your great report. 
As for us, that's all the time we have for today. Join me again soon for another edition of Insiders. Until then, you can share your thoughts on your news' social media. Goodbye for now.